There is something so dear, something so precious, something so internally true that you've been worth dying for. And I submit that you have, if you not find something where you've been willing for to die, I say you be not fit for life. I will be harsh. I will be hurt. I will be speak the truth. And you will be listened. Any day, billions of and millions of animals being slaughtered for a hamburger, something unnecessary and violent like that. They're being put to concentration camp slaughterhouses and to their execution. And I will say that. That is when you have your life, that your life for a long time, and you die on an old age. Not when somebody put a knife between your throats and slay you. That's not how it works. You know, maybe this word is harsh and controversial to you. It don't mean that it's not being true. All animals, including pigs, dogs, cats, all been aware. Actually, in 2012, a group of neuroscientists have proved that animal and human consciousness mean the same. So, the excuses there. Yeah. True is in the pudding. Yeah, true is out. There's no excuse here. One form of inequality creates always another form of inequality. Universal compassion to any living being. Any innocent living is the only guarantee of morality. Praying for peace and then do hypocritical final things. Like that damn Indians do. Praising uh, for protecting for nature and eating animal products. The most biggest problem of the destruction of your rainforest and the habitats. Get one straight pond, humans. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't play politics. Stand for something. One person that stands for nothing will fall for anything. Stand for compassion instead of stand for business. Become a person of fire instead of to be a person of success. If they hate you, they hate you. If you like you, they like you. Don't please anybody because they want to be praised. That's not how we can fix the problem. Animals deserve their freedom and equal rights. All animals can be logic or illogic, just like humans. There is not something as a superiority in a lot of ways of humans and other animals. Some being smart, some being stupid, just like us. Some be more aware, some be less aware, just like us. There is no, absolutely no justification anymore for it. And if uh, and there are laws of of uh, equality, also say that the life suffering of one being can be equal to the life suffering of another being. 
I was lo so so far as nobody wants to be executed on horrible ways for a fur farm in fur farm for example they're being raped to death via anal electrocution put one metal object put it in the vagina of the uh, foxes and they're being executed to death something like uh, 50 animals being skinned to die to die and executed in this way there is not such thing as humane execution and um, humane slaughter humane homicide humane rape or humane wit kind of distinct which shall ever that means Humane fur, humane slaughter, humane meat, humane dairy, humane veal, humane etc. Don't exist. Why not call vegan? Vegetables eliminate great apathish narcissism. What's harder about that? What's so hard about causing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? Children in our in poor countries starve because we steal their food on the label of business. And we feed it to the uh, animals that humans want to eat in the West. Sometimes also in the poor in the poorer countries. And they are subsidized the hell out of it to create the illusion where we are you living. And they make propaganda up so that they can make some money out of it. So people buy um, uh, stuff for Kika or some other group that want to help to feed the poor, uh, the starving children and uh, other homes. Be you aware that it costs around something like Two thousand five hundred gallons of water, around something like five point five acres of rainforest, a field of rainforest, and around something like one uh, eighty um, kilograms of CO two, and around something like twenty grams of greens to produce one pound of meat. Be you also aware that we worldwide murder something like 150 billion 50, 50 billion land animals and marine animals. There's more than there being humans born in the whole human history. Only for something archipelic and unnecessary as meat. In contrast with the lies spread by the meat, dairy, and egg industry, humans be 100% herbivore. That's the reason that we sweat to our pores, that we have analyzed in our slime to digest starch. That's the reason that we cannot see so well in the dark. That we don't get changed after a scroll and take them, and that we don't can so well digest raw meats, and that meat in general stay something like a one whole a week in our intestines. There's also one reason 
that our intestines been actually around something like 7 to 12 times the length of our torso. That's the same length of all herbivore animals on this planet. And then you say this canines, look just like canines are lying to you. No. No. And by the way, sometimes herbivores have bigger canines than meat eaters to, to bring fear in the hearts of the animals on their predators so that they don't uh, go to the attack. Hippos, they have been the animals with the biggest canines of all the animals. And hippos mean 100% herbivore. Their jaws of herbivores can go upside down and left wing right wing, like this. The jaws of true carnivores can only go up and down, like this. And by snakes, they can also go completely ill. The, bo the, uh, the bone shells go to um. Pet store, buy one old stone art bone. Not to uh, not to soak nail out and stuff. Try to chew on it with that nice little under four teeth that you claim to have. <laughs> Warning. If you do that, your weak little herbivore teeth will break in half. So don't go to me with the charms that they are now. With the. Uh, charm that the uh, dentist wants to give me. Put a child in a crib with two tips a bunny and an apple. If the apple eats, if the child eats the uh, bunny and play with the apple, <laughs> it will not happen because we have no carnivore instincts whatsoever. All we have been is make believe. It is all a part of the matrix. What there wants you to believe. Awaken you. Become vegan. It is not hard. Eat beans, lentils, lagoons, Satan, tofu, and a lot of other stuff. Fruit, fruit. And there are a lot of things that you can, still can eat. Go to uh, animal animals deserve absolute protect protection today and tomorrow. The website of Gary Dorovsky. And I'll see you next time. Fiantar out. When darkness and light become one, well, reality splits away. And the truth become visible. And if you not to uh, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Well, or one show that I told the next time out about, but it's also in the description, and I'll see you too.